Hey everyone, I'm Steve. Welcome back to Kellohaven Ranch. Today I'm starting the video with Honey, our young filly. It is a cold day. Uh, we're just after 2 p.m. in the afternoon and only looking at about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Great day to look at stock tank heaters. If you have animals like Honey, like the pigs, like the sheep, the whole bit, you're going to need to keep water ready and available for them during the winter. Here's one option, and here's a way that quite honestly uh, had eluded me for a long time. And we'll get it right into that. Here we go. Right here is a 100 gallon stock tank and uh, it has water in it. It is not frozen, even though uh, it is cold out right now. As you can see though, it's bubbly. And we're gonna talk about that here. It's wasting electricity. For a long time, I have just bought the 1500 watt tank heater that's submerged inside. It's being powered through 110 volt AC. Regardless of the size of the tank, I've used the 1500 watt um, heater. So this is wasting heat. It's all defrosted. There's no ice on it at all. In fact, we can put the thermometer in here. I'll do that here in a second. And we'll watch it go up and climb. That water is about 45, 50 degrees. And that's why it's bubbling so much. It's actually almost percolating uh, from the heater down below. Let me grab the thermometer and we'll test it real quick. All right, I admit I'm cheap. I'm using the Rio temp that we use in the muck pile in for ground temperature. Right now it is saying about 10 degrees. I'm putting it in here next to the heater in the water. I know you can't see that on the camera, but I'll read it out. It just passed 35 and still going up, still climbing. There it is, the 40 degrees, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I hold this in here long enough, it should top out, at least it did before I turned the camera on, at about 45 degrees. <clears throat> That's wasted energy. That is a lot of energy uh, being used up. You figure a tank heater this size, 35, 40 cents a day to keep it on over the season, that adds up. Now multiply that by having five, eight, however number of heaters, and uh, that does cut into your, your profit margin. <clears throat> so this example here, that's really cool. Uh, pretty significant. Let's move on to another tank that has a different style in it. This is the same size tank, the same day, the same temperature, different horses. Harley and Doc uh, wanna know what's up. They want some food. So I'm gonna reach in past the fence on it. First off, what you can see, and I'll point this out, the tank is not completely frozen over. All right, we have an open spot there for the horses to get to the water. But this ice covering that's around the top, that's keeping not only evaporation from happening uh, with the heated water underneath in these cold temperatures, but it helps insulate the rest of the tank to some extent. And uh, that is nice to see. The animals still get into the water. As you can see, it's liquid here. Huh? Harley's gonna help. So I look at this. Once again, I, I'm aware the camera can't see it. 35 degrees. It went to 35 and it is completely, yeah, 36 degrees. That's all it is. This is with a 500 watt heater. Really neat. It's a puck style. It has a thermostatically controlled option for it. And it is holding that temperature of that stock tank just enough so the animals can get to the water um, and it's open for them. But once again, insulating here. 
let's look at these two different styles uh, out of the wind and out of uh, the cold here. We'll go back to the barn and I'll set something up in there. Well, we're out of the wind, <laughs> thank God. It is cold out there right now. Probably wind chill right around zero, maybe a little bit more. The very first heater we looked at is the older style that goes into the tank through the drain hole on the side. And uh, this one's designed for use in plastic tanks like we had out there, we were just showing you, so that it can't touch the bottom and burn a hole in the rubber uh, tank itself. It is the same though as what was out there in Honey's tank, her water tank. This one here is what was in the second horse's tank and it's still tied up because it's brand new in the box. This particular one is from Farm Innovators. I love these things. This is a 250, only a 250 watt here. I use this size for out in the, uh, the pig's waters and then also in the 50 gallon tanks, stock tanks I use with the sheep. We'll run out there and take a look at uh, how those ones are doing here in just a second. It is thermostatically controlled. When it gets up above uh, 35 degrees, it shuts off. The difference between these two is the amount of power they draw. If you're, you have a 500 gallon stock tank, this bigger one is what you're gonna wanna use, uh, most undoubtedly. They keep at least an area of that tank exposed so that the uh, animals can get in there and drink. The smaller one though, for the 100, as long as the 500 watt one, this one is a 250 here. I use these on the sheep and the pigs. And for the horses, they get the 500 watt because they need a little bit bigger tank, needs a little more power. Either way though, a 500 watt compared to a 1500 watt, well, this has uses a third equivalency of, of power is that one. And uh, that's a big difference over the course of a season. Okay, I do have links below in the comments. If you need to uh, pick up some of these, if you're interested, click on that, it takes you right over to Amazon. You can order them right up and they'll be on the way in a couple days. They are really affordable in my opinion, only about 60 bucks a unit. And they so far last three years, at least the very first ones that I used of this. And so it's, it's doing well. Let's move out real quick and hike across to the sheep. Look at those tanks. And then I'll show you how with the water barrels, we water the pigs in the winter. So we've hiked out to the ram pen and uh, they want to know what's up. They want to be fed. But uh, here's an example of, actually this is a 40 gallon tank and that is using a 250. It's just plugged in straight, dropped in the bottom of the tank. You can sit on the bottom, these lower power ones, no problem at all sitting on the bottom of a tank like this. Keeping it completely clear, it's more than enough power for that size. Well, we made it out to the pigs. I'm getting set up here. Of course, they had to all come out and see what's going on. We use a 55 gallon water drum and get the cover off here. You can see on the inside, hopefully on the camera, that it is completely free and clear. Oh, I didn't bring the thermometer. I could have taken the, the temperature, hard to say. But here's one of the heaters right here. All it is submerged, dunked in there, and it's good to go. They water out of uh, the livestock nipples that are bored into the side of the tank. That's a pretty common way to do it. Hi, Delilah. And uh, I don't know how these animals do it in this cold. I'll tell you that. Because it is cold. Hi, babe. Hey, if you like our content, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I am going to head in, get something warm to drink. And even with these gloves, it is just numbing out here with the wind. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Take care, we'll see you later.